the pool of... This is where Ugwe unraveled the mysteries of harmony and focus. This is the birthplace of Kung Fu. Hi everyone, it's Abosha and welcome back to another Summon of Song video. Today we're doing a damage build Song Fei. He's on defense, crit damage, and defense. I want to see how much damage Panda Supremacy is going to get increased. Max skill, okay? <laughs> the cool time doesn't affect damage. Shut up. All right, optimal condition, TOA unit, which means they're going to have a lot of HP. Panda Supremacy. Oh boy. Let's go. Is 9,000 per hit. <laughs> oh my god. Let's try again on a low HP unit. How much damage compared to the TOA normal level 99 Bernard? Let's see. We do 7.5 to 7.8 thousand. Budget Guild War. Basically, we're not gonna use. Ladies and gentlemen, damage review post patch for the Panda Supremacy. <laughs> On the same unit. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, we were able to one shot the. <laughs> it went from thirty six thousand to around forty two thousand. It was seven point five thousand. Let's go. Nine point five thousand. That was two thousand per hit increase, so eight thousand in total increase. So that was the 2014 balance patch treatment for our boy Zongfei. Right now, let's do a quick review for the Fire Panda Zongfei. He himself brings four different debuff to the table. Defense break, attack debuff, speed debuff, and glancing. All of them have very high activation rate. He also brings some sort of sustainability for the team with healing over time. He also brings a universal defense leader skill. Very versatile, you can bring him into raid as a leader or you can use him in guild battle as a leader for copper bulldozer team to boost the damage. Okay, let's boost copper. Copper with defense leader from Zongfei will do so much more damage on this retash that I'm sure we're gonna kill the retash easily. He's super tanky so it's very easy to build him to tank frontline R5. He's pretty slow, but as a tank, you don't need a lot of speed. He has awakening into resistance, so very, very easy to build for frontline R5. Panda Supremacy, 4,000 per hit on the boss. Not crazy at all. <laughs> That's like one ball of, of Zhao Lin. <laughs> and you don't have defense buff in R5 most of the time. So that's like your expected damage from Zongfei. That is one ball from Zhao Lin, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Panda Supreme. Look at the debuff that I put. Look at the amount of debuff that I put. Oh my god, look at the contribution. Assist. Look at the assist. Assist. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Panda Supremacy, best assist ever. But the, the damage was so lame though. <laughs> you might not want to put Violent on him if you're using him in Raid Team because it might take too many turns while doing pretty much nothing at all because this skill has a cooldown. And if you buff too many times and your team don't take a turn to enjoy the healing overtime buff, the boss gonna take it away and heal himself. So if you want to use him in R5, I recommend some sort of revenge, tolerance, fight rune, that kind of thing, so that he can boost the team stats while also having more chance to put the defense break on the boss. In Necro B10, definitely Violent Revenge. I would take any chance to do more multi-hit on the boss and also armor break the boss. But for a YouTuber build, I recommend defense, quick damage, defense for some juicy, spicy content right now. We're gonna kill the retash easily. And now, Zhongfei will provide that consistent armor break as well as a little bit of healing for my. Oh my, what the. F what should I do? I'm gonna. Calm my. My. I can never read that word. Calm mine. Right? I always lean toward calm mouth or something like that. It's calm mind. Is it? 
What is this deal, man? What the hell? Let me armor break you. Oh, only Molong get the supreme armor break chance. <laughs> what is this? What? I have max skill on Song Fei. I can't armor break. Shit. We're gonna boost. We're gonna crit this deal. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Great damage. <laughs> Great damage. Oh my god. We're gonna attempt to armor break. Good armor break. Good armor break. Okay. <laughs> but no. Ah. Uh, no defense buff though. Not gonna do a lot of damage. I think. Not gonna do a lot of damage. Come on, man. What is that? What? What is this Wusa? I have so much resistance. What? What do you mean? Oh, no, no, no. Don't crit me. Oh, no. Is that a dead? Is that a dead chilling? Is that a dead chilling? <laughs> what do you mean? This Wusa. My panda supremacy is. My panda not even moving. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> that didn't do anything. <laughs> oh my god! Last chance for you, Zongfei. Last chance. Panda Supreme Machine. Okay? <laughs> Wait, what do I do? I can't I can't really do anything on anybody. Okay? You're gonna do that. You're gonna do this. Nothing really crazy. Nothing really crazy. Okay, what do I wanna do? I wanna do this. <laughs> I wanna heal up a little bit. I want to put that that thing on Perna, that Oblivion, and then Panda Supremacy will cut Perna like knife through butter. Okay, Oblivion, do some extra damage. Okay, don't violent. Oh, he hit Panda. You get that armor break. Oh no, she gonna cleanse Perna. Fuck. My whole. God damn it. <laughs> what do I do now? I'm a. Ah, oh, damn, I'm gonna do armor break, I'm gonna oblivion, so everything is ready, but I have a very good feeling, this person is gonna proc violent out of my oblivion. Sleep her? Okay, whatever, okay, she's ready, she's ready. Oh no, oh no, no immunity, I can get killed by, by this, this John, oh no. Should I wake her up? I'm gonna do some extra damage on her, because this person looks thick, okay? Panda Supremacy, please, boy. What was that? 22k damage? Not very supreme after all. <laughs> Not very supreme, okay? <laughs> that was the one time my boy do any form damage in this battle. And what is this? I'm losing. My team is losing, boys. Oh no, oh no, Wusa's dead. Wusa's dead soon. Kao Mai is keeping Wusa alive, by the way. Oh no. Come on, I'm gonna break that thing. Okay, we healed up a little bit. Come on, Tessao, and do something about this, please. Oh my god. I have no violence on my panda, so he can't do back to back big damage. It's impossible. It's all Tessao work. Like, this is the Tessao showcase. <laughs> okay, both of them have armor break. Which means Panda can do some damage on anybody. I'm gonna kill off this thing. She's very annoying. Okay, Panda Supremacy, do you have it? Yes, times one on the highest HP unit in this game. No, just kidding. But Panda Supremacy, let's go. Boom, boom, boom. 22k. That's the best I can do. <laughs> on crit damage build, by the way. Oh my god, pitiful damage. Feels bad. I would never bring defense buff for him to set up because it's not gonna do any crazier. I bet like 30k maximum. <laughs> that was Panda pre patch and post patch comparison. In the future, I want to do more for Monkey King. Okay, I wanna do for Water Vampire as well. I'm building him. Where's, where's that boy? I'm gonna build Water Vampire. And see if he can do a lot of damage on this skill. If you want to see any patch affected unit build, let me know in the comment down section below. And I'll try my best to do as much as possible because the previous patch was insane. And I want to test on everything. Okay? 
Thank you, you guys, so much for watching. I appreciate you. Leave a like if you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye.